This video is a quick overview of the editor and librarian for the AutoBit Junior. To start, we click on Connect. We select the appropriate MIDI connector for the input and output, and then we select the MIDI channel. My AutoBit Junior is set to MIDI channel 4, and then we click Connect. The editor goes out to the AutoBit Junior and reads all of the presets. We can switch between presets by clicking on uh, these buttons. Most of these uh, controls are quite uh, obvious. These are the six steps in the sequencer. You can switch between sequencer types by clicking on this dropdown or by clicking on the arcade machine. We'll switch between those presets. To program the expression pedal, click Program Expression Pedal. Clicking Toe is Up and Toe is Down will show you the different settings. Of course, you can go and change those settings, uh, and that's how you program the values on the expression pedal. As a convenience, there's a button Copy Toe Up to Toe Down. This will make the Toe Up and Toe Down settings the same. So if you're only changing a few parameters, it's a nice way to initialize things. The librarian has a set of instructions here. I'd encourage you to go through them. Uh, and very simply, <clears throat> you move um, patches from the librarian onto a preset by simply dragging and dropping. So now Hypnotic Buzz is loaded into the AutoBit Junior on preset number two. There is also a generator. The generator automatically creates patches. Now I've created a separate video that describes the patch generator for the Enzo and the Polymoon, and this ex is exactly the same. So if you need any additional information, I'd encourage you to, to watch that video and uh, I'll put a link to it in the description on YouTube. To save a patch, click on Save. You can give it a title, I'll call it Test. And for the description, uh, this is just junk. I can also save it to a preset. Let's save it to preset number three. So I have the option of None, which it doesn't get saved to a preset, or any of the 16 presets. Again, I'll do it on preset three. Click on Save. Now we see test is saved here. If I go into the librarian, I can see I've got test. If I decide I don't like it, don't want it in my librarian, I can throw it in the trash can. Next, I've got the export menu. Export lets me export all of my patches. I can select just a few by clicking on them and click save, or I could select all of them and um, Save takes me to another save dialog box. I put in a file name and I can save all of my patches, either to back them up or if I want to share them with a friend. Import, I can use to load uh, patches that have been saved, and I can load SysX patches or uh, the JSON library format that uh, I've created for the editor. Preset group lets you save or load all 16 uh, patches at once. So if you do um, uh, save, that'll save them to disk. If you do load, that will load them. I've got the factory here. I'll do load and that will go back and load all of the factory presets. That is something I had saved uh, earlier. Settings includes uh, the global. So here are all of the global controls for the AutoBit Junior. You can just uh, click there. There are some also internal settings for the app. And then finally on the help menu, there's the intro video that describes the AutoBit Junior, uh, the user's manual, and a donate button. If you're getting value out of the editor, I would appreciate it if you make a donation. And that is the uh, end of the video and a quick summary of the AutoBit Junior Editor and Librarian. 
I hope you get an opportunity to use it and enjoy it. Thank you.